hello everyone welcome to my channel cryptoware today we are going to analyze a file which is an xls file so sorry so this is the hash md5 of the file which i downloaded and uh, if you see this is the hash of the file sha256 hash of the file so we are going to analyze this file as you can see that i have already performed the analysis but this will be a quick and crisp video on the analysis part. I generally do not perf, uh, prefer going to uh, the dynamic analysis directly. And even in this case, I won't be doing any dynamic analysis. So I personally prefer performing the reverse engineering or the static analysis part first. And if I observe that something is getting created dynamically, at that point of time, I move to dynamic analysis and debugging. So here right now, I'll just be performing some static analysis and we can see how much information we can gather from here. So this file was shared by one of my viewers. Thank you so much for sharing my uh, sharing a file. And uh, even if any of you want me to analyze any sample, then please share me, uh, share with me. Then I'll analyze the file and I will share it like I'll create a video on it. You can mention the hash of the file in the description or you can reach out to me through my social media handles which is already mentioned in the about section of my channel so let's get started so before few things that we are going to do is we will see the hash of the sorry we'll see the file type so from here we can see that it is a microsoft excel file and uh, the certain information so if this is a microsoft excel file then we are going to uh, use some oli uh, oli tools which are already present in the remnux linux so here i'm using a remnux linux again a dis disclaimer that uh, make sure that you are analyzing your malicious sample even though it is static analysis make sure that you are using a sandboxed environment for the same so here we have already identified the file type so as i said that oli tools are something that you can always use so if you see what all oli tools we have oli browse oli did oli dump.py you can use any of them you can always try to use you know uh, like for example if i want to use oli dump.py you can always click on it and type help to identify how to use it how to work on this what all can be done right now i'll be using oli vba which is quite easy for us to use so oli vba is a tool which will help us with the analysis of the uh, of analysis of this file so i'll just write the hash of the file i'm not going to do anything right now but as you can see that we have gathered a very good amount of information here and it provides us something some interesting information and itself tells us that it is malicious and that is the reason why i mentioned that uh, in certain cases sometimes it's not at all required to perform dynamic analysis even if you want you can execute the sample in your sandbox environment but for me as of now it is not required so what all information can we get from here is it has a macro what does the macro do so the macro will result in the execution of the commands that is already present here so basically if you can add some scripts in your uh, files like excel file or document file or even powerpoint presentation where you can you know automate certain things you can add few scripts now if there is an addition of script then it can easily be uh, used for malicious reasons by the threat actors and that's what had been used and this could be one of the reason like if this could belong to you know a part of any big attack chain we are not sure of that as of now but here we can see that there are some macros there are some information here you can you can see auto open is mentioned here so auto open mostly 
deals with whenever you are opening the file in this case is it, is it is an excel file so whenever you open an excel file the macros will directly get executed if you it, if it is already turned on it will get executed directly otherwise it may ask for your permission and with the recent applications it does ask for your permission and also they are off by default so if you scroll below you can see there are certain things that are happening and the thing that is important to us is the macro.a1 exec so we already know that exec means it is trying to execute something also here you can see that the description has been provided that it may run as an executable file or a system command so it is most probably going to perform some execution how do we know because it wants to execute mshta.exe so this is the url which is our indicators of compromise in this case even exec is one of the indicator too this url is the malicious url from where some hta file is getting downloaded and mshta will not only download it but may also result in in, in its execution so this could be considered as a loader file which is one of the initial stage loader which is downloading some other file or we can call it a downloader which is going to download this file and then result in its execution also from here you can see a lot of interesting details it has already mentioned what the iocs are which is very uh, convenient for us auto exec auto open it tells us what happens runs when the excel workbook is open that is something that we don't want and that is considered to be a suspicious behavior another thing is exec the url is over here now this xls file is already analyzed uh, it has macros it wants to execute all these things i've written a very short script to extract the macros out i'm not going to share the script though but i'll show the macros over here so these are the macros that the, the same thing that we saw there now a very basic question why we have single quote in the beginning because only vba puts the single quote in the beginning for us to identify if it is a macro embedded macro or not so that we do not get confused it's not like that the script is all commented the script is not all commented that is how the output is provided so from here you can see that this url uh, is something that they uh, this sample this xls file wants to connect with and wants it to get downloaded to so we can simply try to see what can happen like if we download this we can try downloading it so that will be the next stage of action that you can perform if we happen to download this hta file we can perform further analysis but as we can see that it is not found so most probably the uh, url is not active anymore and it does happen if there are cnc servers or their malicious domains they get inactive after even after a few days so i think this is not a very recent sample most probably this could be an old sample i'm not sure about it but as you can see that these are certain things that it is trying to perform these are certain ips that it is trying to connect to which is not active so we won't be able to perform the further actions right now but this could be it this should be good enough for us to you know with respect to the analysis that yes this is a malicious file another thing that you may ask me why halt is being used over here so this can be also considered a bit interesting because they don't want they want that the execution should uh, like the file should close as soon as the execution happens it's just that to uh, evade some detection so we don't have to worry about it and right now we are not even uh, running the sample but we have identified the malicious section of the sample so i hope that helps and that's it for this video today uh, please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you want me to analyze more samples you can share those samples with me share the hashes basically with me and uh, i'll see if i can analyze i'll create a video on that and we'll share over here so thank you so much see you in the next video bye